Hello and welcome. This is Fat Yeti with Socially Awkward Gamers, and I'm here today with Professor Tinker, a very good friend of mine, YouTuber, does lots of funny shit. You should go check out his channel. He's the chappy standing over there who I'm currently aiming at and shooting at. I'm colourful! Yeah, he is. Um, we're here today to show you a bit of Firefall. It's my new favourite game. I love it to bits. Um, you'll have to forgive me, my PC seems to be running a little slowly today for some reason, so if the frame rate drops, let me know. I have no idea, that, but anyway. So yeah, um, Firefall is like jumpy jets and different classes and all that kind of shaz shabang. It, it, it's, it's, like, it's like Hawken, only body sized. Yeah. And, and no actually. transformations, just big massive generate a thing on your back and big guns <laughs> yeah but you have like loads of different classes and ooh, 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 it's all really ooh, ooh. cool firepower Whee! yeah like his is fire I use turrets I'm an engineer his an assault class um, but the game has like loads of small little features which just make me love it like if we open up the map you can see it's in 3d and like you can kind of go into different areas like at the moment we're in the main area of New Eden but you can yeah. go to different areas for like instances and, oh, oh we should awesome. show them the the repulsors the repulsors yeah the things that you use the uh bleh, melting, melting crystal, crystal. pushes back the wall we would but uh, yeah but that takes ages to get to okay fine show it to them oh just jump in this one it's going to thump dump anyway oh but i don't want to go to thump dump i want to kill yeah. a wall again but yeah the <laughs> There are all sorts of ways how to get around because the maps are quite large. You can walk and jetpack, but that can take quite a while. Um, you can use LGVs, which are like motorbikes, um, but those you have to spend a lot and a lot of money on to earn and don't crash in game. Things while you're driving them. Yeah, <laughs> um, you can buy them in game by earning them, but that just takes for ages. Or you can buy them, but they're quite expensive. Yeah. Um, Twenty pounds. Yeah, something like. Um, the thing is, is like they use an in-game currency for things, but that's only ever for vanity items. You can earn every single other item in the game. It's only vanity items which you have to pay for using the in-game currency which you buy. Everything else you can earn. Um, so you can use motorbikes, you can walk... No, this is Northern Shores. Um, you can also use gliders. That is a very very nice feature but yeah. yeah that takes a little bit of getting used to there are gliders round the map which you can just find and use and you also have an adventurous glider but that has a long ass cooldown so only use it if you have to go a long way yeah but i've actually crafted some because you can craft single use ones but they're like oh. 200 christite each christite is the money of the game it's like the currency um you look at that guy in the chat new peel no <laughs> Oh god, what's happening here? Oh, Thump Dump's under attack. Quick, we... let's protect it. Jump out. No. So, yeah, here, this is the glider. Um, it's quite a nice I, what the use fuck? because you have to, like, get up high and then glide uh, down. And... Oh, that's nice. Um, oh, yeah, uh, this is. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was stuck okay. in, like, the sort of cinematic view for the transport thing still. Really? <laughs> yeah, so I was running around and flying like that. It was really weird. Okay, <laughs> I wish I had come in here alone! Oh god, um, yeah, my frame rate has dropped so much because we're recording. Usually I'm running this at about 40, 50 FPS, but now at the moment it's down to 8 and 9. Uh, what's your graphics card again? Uh, uh, oh. Come on, you I should know that. this, I should know this, but I can't remember for the it's life your own of me. Machine, boy. Is it a G, GE Force? GTX six something, something like that. GTX six yeah. something, okay. But yeah. <laughs> um, that's, that's pretty, pretty specific, dude. I, mean, I, I know, I'm brilliant. GTX six ninety then. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's cool because, like, thump. You have is it four or five main cities? You have thump uh, dump up in the north, Copacabana, which I can never pronounce properly, hey, Trans Hub and oh. Sunken Harbor. And they can come under attack from this group named the Chosen, and so they're attacking Thump Dump at the moment. But you can get lots and lots and lots and lots of really good XP by doing them. Yep, and there's an artillery cannon up there which I'm gonna go kill. 
If I can jump up there. Also, if you double tap space, unless you've already shown or told them this. Yeah, you, get it's like you have a single jump and then you can use your jetpack after that. I'm falling! So, I've got the wall bring this down, so. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on! Made it! Okay, now get back up to the top. Come on, I believe in you. <laughs> Just go past Professor Tinker there, leave him down at the bottom. So at the moment I'm just using the normal assault rifle, which is the secondary of all of the classes. You can get different class specific weapons, like at the moment I have a Tesla rifle as I'm an engineer. Well, each kind of class has a couple of children classes, if you guess. Like, yeah, cool. you can be an engineer, but you can have different variants of engineer. Um, I'm yeah. what you call a bastion, which means you, instead of like throwing down a heavy turret, you throw down multiple lighter turrets. Oh, like this guy over here, he's got three multi turrets and a sentinel pod. I'm here, baby! <laughs> Finally. Um, Where so are yeah. the people that I have to kill? They're, they're dead. Shit. It's too late. What um, do I do with this cannon? Can I blow it up? Let's see. This is the adventurer's glide pad that he was talking about a moment ago. So you just kind of lay it down. It's this. It stays down for a while, but not too sure how long actually. Sin shield generator uh, invasion of thump dump, thump dump. Sin shield generator. Blah blah blah. Warbringer. That's there's an artillery cannon on the other side of the damn thing. I'm just killing juggernauts at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna just hop down there with you because I want to kill some things. <laughs> Wait for me! Oh god, my frame rate is so slow. That's because there's a lot of shit happening. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, I just got 37,000 XP, and for a single mission event kind of thing, that's a lot. So, a massive attack events like this are really, really, really worth doing. There's Prefer so much Christite Christite's the money, by the way. We ha we have said that one already. Are oh, you over there? Oh, did we did we mention that Christite was money? Yes. When we were explaining Christite how you money. <laughs> <laughs> Just drill that drive that fact home. M. Oh, there's still a war bringer. Where are you? I'm Oh you're on top of there. Hello. Ooh, I touched your face with my crotch. <laughs> Hello. Uh where should we go? My experience bar is still filling up. I love watching it. It's like... <laughs> right. uh, let's go... Oh, I, we should show them how to level up and stuff. <gasps> oh, yes. Yeah, I've okay. never been here before, so you're going to have to show it to me. Uh, it is. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh, yeah, that's the bite over there. Turn to oh. your left. You, you'll see it running away. Where? where? It's gone. It, it, it ran away. Suck. Okay. <laughs> uh, ah, here's this. Found it. Okay. I'll try and get around the other side so people can actually see it. This thing here is called a battle frame garage. Battle frames are essentially your different classes. So if I go into it, you'll be able to see. So I'm the Bastion class. It's a type of variant of the engineer. But you can get all sorts of different ones. So you start off with the Dreadnought, Assault, Biotech, Engineer, and Recon. So those are your five basic standard classes. And then you can unlock variants of them. So so you can have the fire cat, which is the one that Professor Tink is currently using, assault yeah. class, mammoth, which is a variant of the dreadnought, and you kind of get the idea. But um, the bastion, because I just like putting down multiple turrets and like luring enemies into it. Um, you level up through multiple stages by like, you have three categories: mass, power, and CPU, and you upgrade each one individually through five stages in each tech stage. So I've already completed tech stage one, leveled him up all the way. So I'm currently in tech stage two, towards the mm -hmm. end of it, and leveling up. So I'll do that now. You're um, towards the end of tech stage two? Yeah. I've I only finished tech stage one for most of my war for battle After I level up this part, I only have the golden ones to do. Yeah, I've got one golden one of the, war, of the fire cap from the first <laughs> frame. Fair enough. Um, but when levelling up, you usually have to use a combination of things. Usually it's just experience on that battle frame. The experience you earn is specific to the battle frames. So experience, Christite, and um, a resource of some kind. I think it's organic for CPU, mineral for mass, and 
um, gas for power, something like that. And so you can get different organics, and you have to like mine them and use those for yeah, leveling and, up, and which I've done. Can, uh, there is actually a love story in this game as well. You have a handler called Arrow, and later on <laughs> in the game, if you finish all of the side missions that she gives you, there is actually, since this is still in beta, it's not been patched yet, there is a little glitch where you can see a sex scene that's completely uncensored. And I have no idea if that's true or not, or if it's I'm just lying. bullshit. <laughs> I, I, I thought so. <laughs> um, okay, back on track. I'd love it if it was. <laughs> um, the way you unlock new classes is you can either buy them using these things called red beans, which are the things you have to pay for using real world money, and you can use them and use them to buy all the vanity items, unlock everything quickly. Or you can use them you, um, through earning pilot tokens, which you get through upgrading your battle frames. Like, what? yeah. I never knew that. You could get red beans through pilot tokens? No, the pilot tokens you get through upgrading the... Uh, you don't listen. You're you never told me this! No, <laughs> you, un you can unlock pilot tokens by upgrading your battle frames. Oh, those! The things that you use to buy a battle frame. Yes! Oh, them. Well done. Okay, I know. But yeah. Um, at the end of each line of each category in each text stage you have a golden one like this and they are used once you unlock the golden one you get a pilot token I currently have three and once you have ten you can use it to unlock another battle frame so I've already earned ten to unlock Bastion and I am trying to get another seven I think yeah seven and I think I want to get where is it Rhino which is a Dreadnought class, really heavy, packs a punch, but really slow moving. I think next one I want to get is either going to be Nighthawk or the other one, because I want to get a Sniper mm. class. Nighthawk or the Raptor. Yeah, but it costs a lot, lot more to level up the further you go on. Like in Tech Stage 1, you can see at first it only costs 4,000 XP and 1,000 Crystite to level up. Yeah, but go to Tech Stage 4 and show Whereas you. Whereas Tech end. Stage 4, at the last part, it takes over 1 million XP, 7,000 Christite, 12,000 minerals, and 4 Bastion Dielectrics. The Bastion Dielectrics are specific to this class, but they are very expensive and very difficult to get. Yeah, um, so it gets a little bit difficult to die. Yeah, it gets a little weird. <laughs> but um, you can also paint your battle frames. Uh, but again, that's like vanity items and costs red beans. Hey, you didn't tell them about the daily challenges. I will in a moment. I'm getting to yeah, it. God. Sort of you can also use your perks like and stuff like. You can also use perks, and you actually unlock other perks by upgrading your other battle frames. So it makes a lot more sense to try and level up a lot of battle frames at the same time rather than specialising in just one or two. Um, yeah, I will now talk to you about the dailies. Yay! So we have all the like um, achievements and everything in here. You have the campaign missions, which I believe they only just unveiled a week or two back. I may be wrong with that, but you have to earn campaign points in order to progress, and you do that by doing big missions like we just did in the defending of Thump Dump. Mm. Um, daily missions they are completely random day to day. I already completed mine today, but you mm -hmm. can see it's just something like this one's just do part of a mission, gather 200 crystal, which isn't a lot, and get a kill streak, kill seven enemies, and within seven seconds. That sounds difficult, but it's a lot easier when you have turrets to help you. Um, ah, I'm using an AA turret. <laughs> uh, I showed you you could. Do, I told you you could do that. It's brilliant, isn't it? I'm shooting the dropship. So it's <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Okay. Um, what are your dailies? Uh, my dailies are... Defeat 60 enemies of any type and defeat the White Wargrim. So I just basically just need to kill things. What's the White Wargrim? Uh, it's like those big hyena type things, only the white one is bigger and it's... A oh bit yeah, bigger. where do you find it? Because uh, they're specific to areas, aren't they? The different yeah, boss if we ones. can find a really high up... Can we get on top of this building? Yeah, but it's really thing. difficult. Follow oh, me. Come on, let's do it. Come on. Yeah, I know. Follow me. Where? Round to the left of it. Oh. <laughs> Wait for me. Because there's Wait a catwalk me. just there, which you can use to go up. I don't get it. There should definitely be a lift on this building, but there isn't, so you have to like jetpack up it. 
Ah, oh, but jetpacking is all the fun. It lets you test your jumping skills. Yeah, and but hey, at Minecraft further anyway. up, it is really, really difficult. It's landing on like a single beam. Yeah, but it, that helps you with like jumping puzzles. So there we are. <laughs> Uh, ooh, can I make it up there? Uh, no! <laughs> no! I can't. Wait, does that mean I can't make it? Oh, wait, hang on. What if I. Should we just take a dropship? Sweet mother of my vagina. No, I can do this. Come on, come on! Yeah, baby! Hey, I'm just, I'm just a bit little bit above you. Hey. Uh. uh I feel like it would make sense to try and jetpack up this side. Yeah, yeah, it would. Oh, I am down. I'm oh, not. Thank God. <laughs> I almost fell. Yeah. No! Oh, oh, yeah, uh, mommy, mommy, mommy. Mm. I say we just take a dropship. Stop. Uh, no, I'm not taking the dropship and you don't want anything in your you. Okay. I made it to there. I made it to there. Yeah. Just, just tap it. Just tap it. Okay. okay. Where do I go to now? The only thing about this is because you're so mobile in comparison to a lot of games with the use of the jetpacks, you sometimes glitch on the environment or when you land your character continues to run. <laughs> it can be... No! No! Okay, I am dead. If I... <laughs> Jacob, I just fell all the way down. We're taking a dropship. I've nearly made it. I've nearly made it. Oh yeah. Like, so like, there are small features all around. Like here, I just picked up a weapon, and it's a single shot. But boom. <laughs> um, okay, we need to get into a dropship. It's fine. Come back. How far away is my wall room? Oh my God, there's a single dropship that only goes to Sunken Harbor and trans hub uh, and um thump dump it kind of like ferries between them da, 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 Hello. Wait, hurry up Whee. this one is going to Corrado Plains yeah <laughs> Jacob get in good what I like is that if you look through the back, you can actually see your characters in there. So there's me and then this. Are we, are we on the same side? There. Oh, no. I wanted to rope your thigh. Thank you. No, don't worry. I'm straight. You're safe. <laughs> I go for the lady. Another interesting dynamic, I guess, is that this upper wall here, this purple bit, actually moves forward. And you have to come across, like, uh, what are they? Repul Christite repulsors? Melding yes. repulsors? Something like that. And you deposit your own resources into it and it pushes the wall back. But it can come with great advantages, like there can be loot behind it. You can come across missions back there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, no, back in. Um, uh, we may as well get out of Trans Hub. No. Wait a minute. See how high we can go. All right, jump out now and follow me. It's this way, baby. Well, that just lagged a lot. What? What I said? No, it's just your character just kind of like jumped back and forth, and I'm running now because I was some for some reason a lot lower than you were. You're running. I haven't. I have my own glider pla pads, which I crafted. I don't bother hoods. I have right nine here. or eight of them. It's hard to tell. It's 110 meters this way. We're right in the hole. I know where it should be in right here. Right in the hole. Danger! Ah, found it! What is it? Oh, your character thing. So there, I've like just put out my five multi turrets, and they're going to help us with it. Did it. Excellent. Woo. Now I just gotta kill. How many people have I gotta should kill? Should we? Should we show them thumping? 
Oh yeah. Okay. So a lot of the game consists on getting resources, especially when it comes to leveling up. So the best way how to get resources is through thumping. And you may be wondering what that is. It's well. You yeah, I, essentially I like bring down hammers. You essentially like bring down towers and they mine, but because of the vibrations they cause, they kind of like attract local um, okay. wildlife and they attack you a lot. Oh, and it is so much fun. Yeah, and but you, depending on the size of your thumper, <laughs> I think this sounds so weird saying that, depending on the size of your thumper. Is your thumper you bigger than mine? <laughs> um, you can get personal thumpers, which makes it so that the amount of wildlife attracted is manageable by yourself. But in turn, you don't get as many resources, or you can get the squad ones, which is just a clusterfuck of opponents. But Boom. it makes it so that um, you get a lot more resources. Five. But you do kind of depend on more people helping you. We really need to find a good thumping yeah. area. This will do. It's only four right, percent. Let me try. Usually you can get something like twenty percent. Oh, I think my best was forty percent. Minute. Let's try up here. Eight. All right. There's eight percent. Uh, six here. Can you even thump on rock? Thirteen. Where are you? All right. Uh, I'll do one more thump just to check. And fourteen. Right, we're doing it. Okay. See, Do you want me to? I'm Are I'm you bringing it in? Toilet. Okay. Well, you see here resource gathering. You can have sonic detectors, which are used to blow up like small veins of minerals. Have scan hammer, which we're just using, which you use to see how profitable an area is for thumping. Then you have a stock or it's a person. In, look up. Oh. Get out the tree. So there, there it is. is there. Boom. I love that. It's awesome to oh. watch. It's like the Titan so, from oh, you brought in a squad thumper. Yeah. Okay. So here you can see you have capacity and the integrity. Don't let it die or otherwise you have to buy a whole new one and that's expensive. Yeah, you um, can have a squad thumper and use it for an unlimited amount of time, but as soon as it gets destroyed you need to buy another and they're not that expensive when you start doing lots of missions, but to begin with they're pretty hefty. Yeah. What the fuck was that? No, it's your turrets. Yeah. Um, so, classes have four abilities usually, but one's almost like a rage. You can already see how many opponents are drawn nearby. Yeah, I need ammo because I'm out. <laughs> I, I haven't stocked up my ammo in a while, alright? Leave me alone. I like how we bring in a, a squad thumper in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I got some ammo. <laughs> Yeah. Boom. And then you run out of ammo. <laughs> I've got ammo now. Everything's fine. E. Okay. I got to kill them because I want to do the daily. <laughs> I've pressed my one and I don't know what it does. But yeah, um, my three as such shoots out a multi turret, and for some reason one of them's dead, so I'll shoot out another. Um, and then my one shoots out this, a sentinel pod, it just kind of buffs them, um, adds power, and also buffs allied forces ones as well. So if there was another engineer, but he sent out a heavy turret rather than a multi-turret, that would also be buffed. Oh god. <sighs> that lagged. Um, we're just, we're just over halfway. We could do this. Oh god, we've got... Halfway. Copyright. Everything is copyrighted. <laughs> I want to know how I got these scars. Oh, four! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fire cat class, which Jake, um, Professor Tink is using, depends on fire a lot. I know, it's ridiculous. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fine. It doesn't matter, they can call me whatever they like. How far the people who know me as Tinker call me end up calling me Tinkerbell anyway. <laughs> so I'm kind All right, of, I don't really care. Hey, shut up! But yeah, um, 
My two, I never really use that much. It sends out like this ball, and when it hits an enemy, it shoots up a shield. But because it depends of when it hits against an enemy, it can go like really, really far away, and then there'll be a random shield. <laughs> I mean, I once shot it; it bounced off a rock, went up onto a mountain, hit a nest, and there was a shield where I couldn't even see. <laughs> that seems legit. So in close quarters, it's worth it, but in open combat like this, it's a little. Unpredictable. We'll try it now. Uh, there. So there's like a shield that you can stay behind. So you can imagine in close quarters it would be really effective, but hmm. here not so much when you can just go around it. I've killed 45 out of 60. Good. Um, there are also different types of opponents at the moment. We're inland, so we're facing like mainly hisses, which are these blue ones, and Ara Aranas? Arahas? I don't know, Arahas. Uh, Aranka! Aranka, <laughs> um, which come in different variants. They're like lobster spider things. Um, but you can also come across like. Um, big flying thing! <laughs> yeah, big flying big things, flying things. Thing. the curl curl curlexes. Curlexes, yeah, curlexes. We'll, we'll stick with that. Yeah, <laughs> um, but you can also come across like sea life a lot, like when you're by the coast. Oh my word! Fire! Don't worry, we're on a positive at the moment with more more integrity than remainder on the thing. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, why? How many more do I have to kill? I have to kill eight more. All right, so we've nearly done. This could be. Oh, I'm gonna do my daily. The dailies are really worth doing because you may remember me mentioning like red beans which you have to pay for. By yeah. doing your dailies you actually get a red bean. It's not a lot but yeah, you get at one. least there's a way that you can actually earn them. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it if they gave you like 10 because then after a week you'd finally have enough to get a new paint for your frame. No, there are some paint frame paints that are only 10 red beans. Oh, is it 10? What's, what's there the is some which are 10, there is some which are like 30, then others are at 50, and then one at 70, I think. Something what's like the that. stuff that costs 75, then? Is that the camo pattern or something? Might be, actually. Yeah, you can get camo patterns and all sorts. As I said, you only really have to pay for vanity items, but nothing will actually affect the gameplay about having to pay. So there he's just sent off his thumper, and in return he gets a bunch of XP and resources, which we'll show here. Sifted Earth, you just get Crystite from it, it's terrible crap. But then you can get um, different things. So here we have Petrochemical, which is a type of organic. So if I think it's for PC use organic, I can upgrade. But you then have to go and refine that, but that's easily done. It's just shove it in the machine, wait a certain amount of time, then done. Where have you you gone? see what games do to me? I only have to kill two more things to do this daily, so I'm killing innocent birds! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it in. Uh, okay. What's the thing? There. Yeah. Bye. So, in return for your daily, you get a loot crate, which is just called in there. Give me my stuff. <laughs> my stuff. And there's a red bean. So there's a red bean which is just taken. There you go. And there right. is other stuff there, but because it's like personal to him because it's his dailies that he achieved. I can't pick them up, so that's why I didn't see anything. Yes, they're mine. They're <laughs> yours. Go away. Thank you. Sit in that fire. I shall. No friendly fire. Um, number four. When you like press it, it's like a rage one. I think you can just about make up that like blue outline that's starting to fade. So I can't use it at the moment. Um, with me, it's fortify. It just buffs me slightly. Oh, dude, LGV. <coughs> so there are like different types of enemies, as I was saying earlier. You have the coastal variants. You have these ones. Uh, these are just tank, and they're the equivalent of bandits. Pretty common. Oh, Christite runner. <laughs> like sometimes with that, it's that oh, it's carrying data, and you have to protect this. Um, thing that explores the data for about what two loot? minutes. 30. What loot are we plundering? I don't know. Um, 
Where are we? Yeah. Oh yeah, um, the Chosen, who are like the enemies of the Accord, which is the people you play as, they regularly attack places. So you can see here there's a Watchtower under attack, Shanty Town is under attack. This Watchtower has been taken by them and is currently under attack by our forces. So, yeah. Show that the world. Um, L literally. Should we try and go back to Copacabana? No, I show them the world, the planet. Okay, as I was saying, <laughs> there's That's what I meant. there's New Eden, which is the main play area. You have Tank and Cave, which is where you can go with a squad. Dredge, that's the next area which is upcoming. Uh, Cliff's Edge, I haven't been to before, I don't think. Yeah. Blackwater again is a squad instance. Sar Sargasso, see? Um, you can go to, yeah. it's just like a bunch of like mini missions and stuff there, and the same for, where is it? Diamond Head. So those are the only places at the moment. Um, I think they're planning on like dotting the whole earth with them, really, which will be cool. That would be pretty cool. Mm. Yeah. Wait, match found? What do you mean match found? What have I found a match for? What? what did I that? did I click that? What? Launching match. What? What match? What have we what done? What have we done? Am I fighting you? Uh, are you? I I don't know. About to find out. Uh, Apparently nope. we've done something. Cliff's edge. What? I must have clicked on it by accident. Then. Well, we're about to find out what Cliff's edge is. <laughs> Chosen generator. What the fuck? I don't know, let's just do this. Okay. I've never been here before. I've never Neither even have I. Eden. I've left New Eden a couple of times, but I've never been to this place. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, chosen. Chosen Yeah, the, the hint's in the fact that it's a chosen generator. Eh. Uh, 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 why are they only juggernauts? I don't know and I don't care, just kill them! You brought me here! With so most classes it's that your main oh gun, in my case God. the Tesla rifle, it's that has a secondary fire mode, and so you usually have to swap to your assault rifle in order to zoom in because that's its- oh god. Yeti, what have you done?! I was in half health and then got downed. <laughs> Oh, we fail. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. Don't respawn us in here. Please don't respawn us in here. Please don't respawn us in here. It respawned us in here. Is there an arc porter out? I, I think we actually have to do it. I don't think there's a way of getting back. There isn't. Oh, I'm wait. Gonna Is there... I think there's a dropship over there we can get to. Because if you look on the map... Oh wait, no, that's... yeah. We have to kill them! We have to kill all the jungles! Half health ready. Okay, I got one of them. Dude, there's a juggernaut just over here. Dead. Where? <laughs> no. I'm not an offensive class, I'm the defensive. Well, try defending! I can't when I'm down. Just respawn. Respawn literally right down the road anyway. I know. Oh no, I'm in the thing! That's one more. Okay, there we go. Okay. Why did you bring us here? Okay, if I lay down some turrets, you lure them back towards them. I can do that. Oh. What is oh, this with all these things? There we go. Some turrets are down. I don't know how long they'll last because they are only multi turrets and not heavy, so. They could go down quite quickly. Okay, I got one of them. Yeah, uh, sure. There's a juggernaut over there, apparently. I've... Where? Is he in the thing? I have no I have idea no where the juggernaut is. I'm going for the objective. <laughs> uh huh, yeah, because that's a good idea. How do I. What? Ah, I found him. I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, dude. That's <coughs> easy enough to do. Yes. 
Oh god, there are loads of them now. Oh, I should have saved my four. So what do we have to do to this generator? You go up to the crate, press E on it for a little bit, and you'll pick up like a disruptor grenade. Run now. over to the thing, th just you do automatically by pressing E. Run up to the thing, left mouse click it will throw it, and then it's weakened and you can shoot it. Really? You, 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 you did this to me. I know, I'm sorry. I don't even know how you did it. <laughs> Neither do I. How did we fucking get here? Random bullet. I hit no one. Getting close, actually. <laughs> My turret's still up, man. Uh, trying to injure them. My turrets are out, so hopefully Good. that will do something. It doesn't matter when we're getting shot at in the face. One of my turrets is down. Okay. All right, I'm gonna run up to it. Yolo strikes. Yes, I said Yolo strikes. Right, what crate? What crate were you? Over on to the left. Follow what me. Left? Oh, that one. You mean this thing? Yeah. Okay. Now what? Do I just run back to the thing? Now what do I do? Uh, throw it. Like left Ow. mouse click. Le Did I hit? It's only on six percent health. We only do it one more time. Okay. You throw. I'll uh, attack it. Hit. Got it. Done. Well what do we have to do now? Health. Ah! Help me. Are you downed? Yes. Help me now. Bye bye. Have me now. Bye bye. Have me now. Bye bye. You suck. <laughs> you suck, sir. I think I just did it. Oh God. <laughs> I hate you. Why, why did you bring me into this? Where's the artillery? I don't know! God, it is a mini instance. To the way. I can't see it anywhere. Ah! Uh, no! Is that it? No! No! Oh, yeah, that dude is way, way, way over. I'm down. <laughs> I'm done! I'm done! I ain't doing this. I'm just flying over them. Oh, down. Should we just call it? Yeah, I'm done. We can't do this. I'm done. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching myself and my good friend Professor Tinker fail at this lovely, lovely game, which we really haven't done justice. It is beautiful. It really is. There are so many small things about it which just make it brilliant. Um... Yeah, it's really beautiful. It's currently in open beta, so go check it out. Go play it. As I said, it's completely free to play. You only have there's an, only an in-game shop, but that's only for vanity items or for, for speeding up processes, which you'd be doing anyway if you're playing the game enough. So yeah, it's really good. Really worth checking out. Um, I've talked about it a lot on TSAG. So yes, thank you very much for checking me out. Go check out Professor Tinker's YouTube channel. He does all sorts of lovely stuff. Yes, I do mainly pornography. Yeah, he doesn't. No, I don't. Well, he wishes he has. He wishes he wishes he had the physique to pull that off. Um, it I mean, it depends if you count pornography as playing games. And going, yeah. Uh, uh, why won't you work? Well, I am probably going to be making a video of drunken robot pornography the game shortly after this one. There's no pornography in it. I know, but I love the title of it. It's awesome. Yeah, I know. And, uh, what, Have you what heard? Is... Anyway. Anyway, yes. Bye-bye, yes. people. Bye. Bye.